Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. In front of me today, I have a 2021 Kia Telluride EX. Uh, kind of excited to get behind the wheel of this Telluride because this is the first time I'm, I've been driving one. Uh, you know, one of Kia's most popular SUVs, especially in the mid-size three-row configuration of SUVs. You know, this is one of the best-selling ones Kia has. And uh, even though you just kind of easy to get one. You know, this 2021 has uh, slightly used. It's only got about 25,000 miles. We would take a few miles, uh, but it's in really good shape, as you can see here. This now, this uh, Taylor right here in front of us here is in a sil everlasting silver. It's the color of the exterior color, and it's got a black inter leather interior. Uh, of course, we got the 20-inch wheels. Got a bit of nice chrome all around. We got your side here mirrors and the same with a little bit of turning lights here. Really, really nice the way this looks. This SUV came out in 2020. Uh, so it hasn't been a long time, you know, it's only been recently introduced, but definitely Kia has been a contender in this, you know, this price range and especially in this category of SUVs, you know, it's uh, really put a dent, of course, you know, competing with the Pilot, you know, you got the Chevy Traverse, you have also the Explorer, you now you have also the, uh, you know, the brother that should be the Palisade from Hyundai. So there's a lot, a lot of, you know, competition, but, you know, but Kia has done a great job in putting a great, you know, great package together. Lots of technology, well-priced, and uh, this is what you get. You know, it's a good looking SUV. A lot of value for the money. This is what the Telluride is. So this model here in front of us is a front-wheel drive model. It's not the all-wheel drive model, which you can get for about $2,000 an option. Up here front, of course, we got some projector LED headlights here that are uh, basically uh, standard for 2021. So not a lot of chrome, it's got like a more of a polished uh, chrome here on the top, but it's not bad. I know for 2021, they came out with the Nightfall package, which kind of dark as the whole thing out with the wheels and everything. That was a package that was introduced for, for 2021. So. These are kind of distinct light lights. These are LED lights that kind of go down, kind of very distinct from any type of other SUV. You definitely know that this is a Telluride car. It's kind of telling of those lights. So here, as you can see, we have the EX V6 badge here. We got a single exhaust here. At the bottom, we have we do have a few sensors here in the back as well for your rear reverse camera. And of course, we got the reverse camera there, and we also have a hitch here. This can tow uh, 5,000 pounds. This SUV with a V6, and of course, we got a new seven prong or seven um, connector pin here for 2021, which was introduced before the year was a 20, was a five prong. So that's kind of an update what they did for the 2021 model year. So all right, guys. So just giving a quick look at those wheels. These are really nice wheels. These are 20 inch wheels, kind of two tone color. We got. Nice single piston caliper here. We got two 45 millimeter tires on 20 inch, of course, a 20 inch tire uh, running Pirelli uh, Scorpion Zero tire, which are really nice, you know, uh, all, all season tire. Uh, that's a really nice, it looks really nice. I think that's a good looking wheel. And uh, I love the way they shape. This is, a, you know, it's got nice indentations. And I know Kia kind of had really knocked it off with designs of, uh, you know, the, the way everything they have done so far with designs of cars and SUVs. They really, really are we ahead of the game. The, so. uh, the Kia key, as you can see, we got a hold for that. Uh, pretty distant. This is a different key that I've seen recently in any car. So we're going to get and hold the button so we can open up the rear hatch and check out the portion here in the rear, the sizes. So as you can see, guys, this is, of course, a three-row, seven-passenger SUV. These are all nice leather seats here. This obviously falls down here. You got about uh, 18, square, 18 square feet here behind this area and about 48 square feet when you drop this third seats down of storage space. Really nice. Of course, we got here these seats. These are the for the second row. That lower, if you're going to press a button here, you see that seat go down. So that's a nice feature that uh, Kia gives you. Of course, we got some storage pockets here as well. I believe so. We got more pockets here. 12 foot connector here, so you can see. Here we got some floor mats that are part of this that they give you, but this is a little more storage space. Let's go put this up here. So you can see we got a little more space here in the rear to put things there and uh really much so this this has to get a spare tire here let's see what this is here i guess we got to put this on i don't know what the procedure of that tire is but now i'm not sure if there's a spare tire not here i'll put that in the uh, screen for you guys i don't see any spare tire underneath the vehicle so they might they might not have a spare tire they might have just a kit for repair so we'll all put this up in the link guys i'm not too sure but it's got a really nice space in the back of course looks like a comfortable seating as well for the seats and uh you know it's that type of day but we do have a power tailgate here as you can see so just with the press of the button or the key that goes down all right so checking out the rear we're gonna put the seat down because we just put that down so this just goes, goes up pretty easily here so here in the middle we have captain's chairs which are really nice as you can see we got the nice black leather 
with a bit of white stitching really nice feels really nice and rugged and nice and tough also soft as well let's go ahead guys and get inside here interior of this kia telluride and i swing around give you a little bit of a taste of what it is so we got some pretty good sized room there of course we got some ac vents on the top and lights we also got some more ac vents here i like can see we got some lights going on of course we got your i don't have to turn it off i don't have a, the uh ignition turned on so we have this off but this is basically your uh, climate control controls back here for the rear passengers which is awesome uh here we got some hooks we got some pockets here for in each side behind the front seats and uh here we have of course some cup holders and we do have a 12 foot connection back here pretty clever i've never seen this design here before we got the uh couple of usb connections here right behind the seats which is really nice uh coming here to the door i'll put this up a little bit we get a bit of nice soft touch to the uh to the door everything all the materials will look really nice uh, of course we got some leather here most of this are hard plastics we got a speaker here we got some more uh storage space here for for your drinks of course we got a really nice uh plastic aluminum here with nice trim here as well with some uh, a little bit of of course it looks like wood but it's obviously a plastic wood and here we have also some shades here for the rear window so and we got also some handles here as well which is nice which are really nice the details on this uh telluride really nice what they did with the details of course we got uh, just a single sunroof here on the top and here we have of course the front and we'll pan around here taking a look at that interior which is really nice design there's a 10.3 inch screen to this telluride so Try the seats in the back here. It's pretty easy to get back here. Oh crap, we got the thing on here. All oh, right. So coming back here to the back seats, it's not easy. Uh, but of course you got another USB connections, cup holders, little pockets here in the rear. And it's not too bad. I'm here inside, I'm about 5'11". So it is a little tight, but it's not uncomfortable for a short trip, to be honest. Uh, if you can put some kids back here, you're definitely uh, not, not in a bad shape, so. Uh, really nice interior and uh, plenty of plenty of space to be honest. I don't know if you're gonna have some room for luggage if you're carrying a lot of people here, but um, if you're carrying four in comfort, yeah, you'll have plenty of space here. So it's got a really nice quality and everything feels pretty rugged. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and get out of here and climb out of this step here. So we got a little step here as well. As you can see, that kind of gives a little more room and. Uh, but it's got really pretty, pretty good space guys so all right let's continue all right, guys, coming up here to the front let's go ahead and check out the power plant of this telluride and see what it has on the hood so we're coming here in front i got my pov head on to be much more easier uh, of course we're going to pop the hood of this telluride here and uh, at least we got a nice easy way to do it we got some hydraulic shocks to help you out with the assistance of the hood raising all right guys so here we got a really nice 3.8 liter v6 normally aspirated this has got 291 horsepower 262 pound feet of torque of course this is going to an 8-speed automatic transmission uh powering the front wheels now obviously there is an option for all-wheel drive for around two thousand dollars so you have that option of putting that four-wheel drive if you're in climate or you know if you're more in a mountain you know or more northern states here but uh you know this is really nice a nice power plant i'm sure this is used in a lot of other products of kia and hyundai uh really nice robust experiment i really driven much of it so uh we're gonna get to see how how good it feels in terms of power uh, in terms of response and see how this eight speed is going on so uh but it's a really nice you know easy power plant and this is gets you about 20 miles uh per gallon in the city 24 miles in the highway of course you get a little bit less if you have the four-wheel drive system but um all right guys that's that's it for this telluride power and there we go right, let's head into the driver's seat side here of this telluride uh of course we got the really nice materials this is all soft material which it feels nice feels nice and quality of course we got some of that uh i would say fake weight but imitation wood here on the trim uh, everything else feels nice in your fingertips you got a really nice aluminum trim here uh, that looks in the door we have also of course all your mirror and uh, window controls here we got two couple of speakers here and more uh, storage for sure for your drinks and everything now uh, here in the middle of course we got your leather seats which are really nice i wish i mean they feel really nice and of course are perforated these are eight-way power seats here for this model uh they feel excellent and uh you know they have really nice uh you know, it's gonna feel really nice and comfortable of course it's uh there are four chances to the uh to the telluride this is the x model which is not the top of the line 
Uh, of course, you can get a little higher trims for different uh, Napa leather and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead, guys, and get into this cockpit and check it out. All right, so we are inside here of the interior. Let's go ahead and just put the heat keys here in the bottom because obviously we don't need them to start the vehicle. But it um, feels really nice. I mean, the interior feels comfortable. It's got plenty of space. Visibility is awesome to this interior. Of course, we got a little more light because of the sunroof. Uh, of course, we got all types of lights and things in the back. Uh, I really love the way everything's uh the materials were really nice even though this is an imitation it still feels nice you got your three vents here you got your 10 point inch 10.3 uh, inch screen goes on and everything's all right all right let's go ahead guys and uh press our brake pedal and our engine start start and get the interior powered up let's go ahead and uh take a little bit of uh hear that v6 doesn't sound too bad it's got nice smooth uh doesn't have any vibrations to that i can feel so it's got a really nice uh sounding cover obviously this is going to be loud this is a quiet car but it's got a pretty nice sounding uh exhaust so here we have the uh 10.3 inch screen here that's a really nice entertainment it has a really nice uh touch to the fingertips we got of course navigation in this uh model as you can see you can square that out it has a really nice uh graphics to it as you can see uh, we can press the home button, go back, we got the stereo, uh, we got also temperature, uh, all kinds of features here. I'm sure you can scroll to the screens if I'm correct or not. We got a, looks like a little speaker here. I think you can also speak to the rear passengers through uh, some sort of button so they can hear you from the front to the back. That's a feature that I saw. Uh, going back to the menu, of course, we got the stations, we got all kinds of things back home. Of course, we got this three screens. So it feels really nice and of course the stereo. Um, love that song but uh, it's kind of nice stereo system there's eight speakers to the system you can also get a optional 10 speaker um either a jbl or a bang and Olufsen. i'll put that up on the screen guys uh of course got ac going we got dual ac dual um sony ac here in the middle of course you got your uh controls here for your temperature uh, everything's really nice and well laid out excellent really excellent the way everything uh is designed here course we got some more uh, of course you got your volume control you got a seek we got some more buttons here for your stereo uh, along with the nav and you can press the map uh of course you got radio media of course you got your uh, intermittents there your your hazards and of course you got seek track and uh that's got really nice all the setup here so coming down here in the bottom we do have seat warmers as you can see here and we can turn those off and go to the seat coolers so we got both of those uh options here for both front passenger seats which is awesome uh we do have a little bit of storage room as you can see here i uh, can just press this down and it goes up uh we have a couple of usb connections here, one for charging one for information of course you get a 12 volt here we also have a wireless charging station here for your phone and i love the way this is all this it's kind of a mix of leather here and we got a little bit of piano black trim here in the middle for the center console uh, coming here, of course, you got more storage space. As you can see, we got our keys here in the middle. We got a couple of cup holders. I uh, literally love the way this feels. Uh, glove box compartment's nice and nice size. Nice, comfortable size. And everything's really nice. We got some speakers here as well. Uh, all the materials and everything feels really nice. I'm mean, very impressed with uh, the way all this feels in the Kia. Uh, now that actually getting into it. Of course, we got your A-speed automatic here. We do have some dry modes as well. Uh, if we go back to the middle screen here, this is about a 4-inch screen here. As you can see, we are right now in sport, which we're going to keep because obviously we don't have any type of off-road we're going to do here. Um, we have comfort, we have echo, and we have smart. So uh, we're going to just put it back to sport to get a little more, uh, you know, kick into this uh, Telluride. Of course, as you can see, we got 24,478 miles. So this is pretty much, it's a, it's a similar used vehicle, but still feels pretty nice. Doesn't, I don't see any type of, uh, lots of wear and tear. Uh, the steel vehicle was well, well taken care of, so... So coming back to the middle, guys, we saw some drive modes. We got our automatic start and stuff, which I have it off right now. We don't want that even shutting off in the lights. I don't like that. Um, auto hold is basically when you're coming up to a stop, you want to release the brake. You can just press that and it will keep your car um, basically the brake pressed. And of course, you got your parking sensors off and on. Uh, of course, we here we got your electronic parking brake, which we just turned on. We just went ahead and turned that off. Uh, empty button, of course, here in the middle. We got a nice uh made for storage and we have another usb connection there as well so lots of usb connections all around i mean there's two behind this seat for the rear passenger for the second row and we got some more usb as well for the third row so there's a lot of usb connections uh very well planned 
uh, really well executed and uh, for this interior and of course for the family with all the electronics so all right guys and close the door so we can get a little more quietness we're gonna put on our seat belt because we're gonna take this girl out for a drive um, so coming here in the middle, we got some buttons for your stereo. We got, of course, of uh, voice control here. You got your cruise control. Of course, you got all kinds of things here for your, you know, your middle screen as well. Here, as you can see, we got fuel economy. We have driver and basically in support right now. We have a digital speedometer. Uh, we have all kinds of driver information here. All kinds of things you can do. Um, of course, we got analog uh, speedometer and tachometer. Of course, you got the oil gauges here. Pretty simple. We do have uh, blind spot monitoring as well. Uh, that we have here on. Let me see, go ahead and turn those off or on. Uh, let's see, those are off. We're gonna turn that off. Yeah, we got all, all the buttons here, of course, control your, your traction control. Let's get your rear hatch. And we have your blind spot de detection, which is here. Uh, that's basically on. We have it on or off. There we go, it's right on, so you can see guys in the mirror. So, all kinds of really you know, cool features. This has a lot of, uh, you know, blind spot monitoring. You have, you know, adaptive push control. Uh, all kinds of things that help you out. This doesn't have, you know, Kia has now those digital uh, instrument panels where you can see the little camera that's on the side to help you out change the lanes, which is for your blind spot, which is awesome. That doesn't have, this one doesn't have it. I guess it's not, it should have been introduced in this year, but obviously it must be, it must be in a higher model. Um, so, but it's got a lot of features, you know, really nice the way this, this uh, Kia Telluride is. And we're going to get to test drive and see how sporty it is, how good it drives. Obviously, you heard that, you know, this has got a really nice steering and everything. So, we're going to test that out and see how this Telluride feels. Uh, seats are very comfortable. Of course, I haven't turned anything on because we're in Florida right now. We got pretty cool temperatures. Um, it's not hot. It's not cold. It's kind of in the middle. So, I do have the AC turned on to keep cool this GoPro 10 because obviously this thing loves to shut down on me. But uh, if we got some AC, at least keeps it cool. Uh, so, some here, guys. We got Uvo. I don't know the Uvo. So I'm going to investigate. I'll put that for you guys here on the screen what that is. These are just basically lights all around uh, for the, for that. And, of course, we got uh, some places for your, for your sunglasses. And, of course, we got the mirror here and all kinds of things. So, pretty much standard. Uh, real, you know, basically, your roof line here is in, in a nice beige. So, I really like the way it feels. I mean, this feels very comfortable. The screen is fantastic. The visibility is great in this uh, Telluride. And, uh, you know, it's got, we got almost, got almost 300 horsepower in this thing. Doesn't, I, don't think, I don't think I'll feel like a slouch, but um, we'll see how it drives. All right, guys, so. let's go ahead and take this Telluride for a drive. We're going to put this in drive. We've got our parking brake off. Let's go ahead and put our digital speedometer here so we can see. Get a ticket. And, of course, we do also have a tilting and automatic tilting and telescopic steering wheel. I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit here for us. There we go. And uh, let's see how the turning radius is of this. Tilloina would come in here. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's got a nice, nice turning radius. Definitely for sure. I've just a lot of cars there from, from worse to bad. It's actually pretty good. So, all right, let's onboard this 2021 Telluride EX. Um, of course, there's four trims. We got the higher one, which I think is the SX. And now, of course, you can also get a, uh, what do you call it? A, this one. All right, guys. So, steering feels good. I mean, it's very quiet. I mean, it, uh, so far, I've, you know, slightly just got into it. It feels really nice, comfortable. Um, let's go ahead and come in here. Yeah, it's got, you can tell the V6 has got plenty of power. But very smooth so far. Ah, well, doesn't feel too bad. Well, the V6 got a responsive to it. Yeah, this is we're in sport, so um, of course we're not in the most fuel efficient mode. But we're gonna test that a little bit. Uh, we got a little bit of traffic through here. But so far, it feels smooth. Let's put on the power a little bit here. Very smooth power powertrain. The transmission feels nice and soft, nice and uh, unnoticeable shifts. Yeah, this feels. I mean, it doesn't feel huge. Uh, it's got a very nice. Uh, the steering feels pretty good, actually. It's got a nice feeling to it. Direct, uh, decent feedback. Of course, we got. Uh, as you can see, we got the uh, lane assist as well turned on. And of course, if I'm gonna do wobbling, it's gonna say, hey, where the hell are you going? It's just pulled on me a little bit, so. Um, but that's part of the, of course, the safety features that this helps, you know, the driver assistance 
that this uh, Kia gives you. So, but the brakes feel good too. It's got a nice modular brake feel to it, and uh, everything's really nice, well laid out. I love the way it feels. Um, Brad, I mean, I'm very surprised. This feels really, really nice inside. Uh, really nice what Kia has done uh, so far. And of course, Hyundai as well. Of course, they're partnering, you know, and partnering their brother, sister um, brand. So. A little bit of torque there I felt there. But it's got plenty of power. It gets up pretty quick. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, we're not have not we're not loaded or anything, but uh, it's got plenty of kick. Really nice V6. Now, obviously, if you want to go off road or you know plant a tow or plan to do something, I would probably option off the four wheel drive. Um, give you a little extra kick if you're getting up to the mountains or you live in the northern states. Uh, we're supposed to get up to basically freezing temperatures tomorrow morning in Florida, so I'm sure this if it's cold, if it's freezing here, I feel free guys up in the north. It's gonna be chilly as hell. So unless you're from California, of course, but um, fantastic feeling uh, best to be Love the visibility, of course, everything the mirrors everything. I mean, I'm really surprised I'm no wonder Kia sells a lot of these because this is a comfortable SUV uh, Lots of amenities lots of technology, you know, lots of safety features um, Wow, no wonder. Yeah, this is a no wonder Kia sells these things quite a bit And I think this is one of the best selling ones you can see the lane assist is telling me scoot over a little bit my friend um, but we can turn this off as well. I can press a button here and that will turn off. So uh, easy as that if you want to turn off your, your sensors and all that stuff uh, if you're in tight spaces or doing that. But we're here concentrated on our driving and uh, it feels very good. Really nice the way this Kia feels. Obviously behind stock behind a slower driver. Um, and But, you know, very comfortable. I mean, this is a very pleasant driving experience. The AC is pretty long and cool. Obviously, it's cold outside today. Not cold, but we're around around 65 right now, or 60 something. Where's the where's, where's the uh, yeah 68 Fahrenheit? So, all right, my lady. So we're gonna take a left here. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna give a little bit. Oh, there we go. Test the brakes a little bit. Oh, we got some pretty. Doesn't seem to have any much dive from hard braking. Um, and I like the way the, the brake pedal feels. It really feels really good. It's got a nice progressive, uh, and the pads feel really nice too. They got a nice bite to them. Um, not anything aggressive, too boosted or anything like that. So, um, really, really nice the way this Kinder Ride feels. Of course, you got a nice, I love the way the volume control is right here. So, you got everything at your fingertips, the tune, everything's here, wall, wall, center. And even the screen is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, set here in the dashboard everything feels good i mean that the steering feels fantastic a lot of controls here um yeah really impressed with this uh, kia telluride very smooth transmission we're gonna get up to speed a little bit more now yeah this is very nice driving suv for sure get up to speed obviously very easily Steering wheels feels planted. The thing, the, you know, the the it feels planted more than I'm. You know, obviously, for example, I've driven the equivalent of the Ford Explorer, and this feels a little more it's taut. It feels much more 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 stable in the road. Um, obviously, got bigger 20-inch wires, but I've driven it. But this feels really nice. I mean, it's got a nice uh, feels planted. It feels you know uh, feels pretty fun to drive. It doesn't feel like soft in that. I mean, I'm doing some of the. Let's do a little bit of that. Yeah, this thing, yeah, this has got some, it's got some playfulness to it. Um, yeah, very, very impressed with this. I tell you right, it's my first time driving one of these, so um, you know, of course, this is the only motor you can get in the Telluride, but it feels awesome to be honest. Uh, very impressed with this Telluride so far. Wow, yeah, the steering feels really nice. So obviously, if you know the well, of course, you know everybody. You know, it's, uh, oh, how many miles per gallon? Well, it depends on your driving too. This is around 20 miles in the city, 19 for the all-wheel drive, 24 in the highways. Of course, it depends the way people drive in Florida. Um, you know, <laughs> they're always driving hard or flying down the road. Uh, yeah, expect a lot less. So um, don't you know? Everybody complains about the gas mileage, but oh well. If you drive like you know, like crazy, then of course. 
you know, when everybody passes you at 30, 40 miles an hour speed limit in Florida. So that's just the normalcy here in Florida. But um, impressive SUV, guys. I really like this Telluride. I couldn't, I couldn't recommend it. Yeah, this is really nice compared to the Explorer. Uh, you know, my recent Explorer did. This feels a little bit more taut. It feels nice. Uh, I'm sure the Explorer's got a little more in terms of power and handling and towing, but this is a very impressive package to be honest. And uh, I really, really like this this uh, this Telluride so far. I uh, want to give a big shout out, guys, to Barto Ford here to our left. They're allowing me to test drive these vehicles. Uh, if you guys are looking for any type of Ford vehicle, of course, right now the lower inventory has almost any car manufacturer is, but. Big shout out to Barto Ford and a big thank you to Randy for allowing me to test drive these vehicles. Um, one thing that we have not tested out is the rear wheel, uh, rear wheel, the rear view camera. So we're gonna stop guys, we're gonna put this in review reverse here. We do have some trajectory lines, which is awesome, as you can see. Um, let's see if we got some of those sensors working. I saw some sensors back there, but I don't see them. Mm -hmm. There we go, yeah, there we go. So we got at least some nice lines here and everything, so. We shut that noise so it's got a really nice camera the camera's got a really nice quality to it and of course you got those sensors as well working for you um really really impressed with this uh kia telluride impressive so i can't wait to get to test drive more uh kia and hyundai products they really come a long way all right guys, so i just um, wanted to apologize i might have my microphone switched on in the uh my camera it's probably switching the front if you see that little bit of muted uh or kind of behind something uh sound i apologize uh but i fixed that now and i didn't realize that thing was switched back on but um hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching subscribe i really appreciate you guys and uh we'll see you on the next video guys take care bye-bye